Jim, we asked we asked Jim Leonard downstairs. Some of the players early in the year had said you guys didn't do a good job responding to momentum swings, and he said you guys are better at that now. And I'm just curious, how has that process come about, and you guys do a better job of handling when things do not go your way? Yeah, I think it's just uh, you know a combination of things. We're really just learning um, from things that come early in the season. Um, like even in that third quarter, we had I think a seven minute you know touch or not touchdown drive. You know we weren't able to finish it off, which we love to, but able to get some points to make it a three score game. Um, drives like that is huge and stuff like that we weren't doing it early in the season and we're able to extend leads and uh, keep leads um, something that we've definitely improved on. This was a game where you knew we probably were going to have a ton of opportunities in the past game was the run game. Yeah. What, if, what did that show you today about how effective Brandon and Isaac were able to be and the O-line is supposed to be running into it? No, it's huge props to all those guys. I mean, we knew it was going to be a kind of by any means necessary type of game um, and, you know, those guys dominate up front. Um, they got the job done, and uh, we were able to try to make some plays in the past game we could. Um, obviously, it was pretty, a little bit of an ugly game, and it was, it was kind of tough, but um, I think we did a good job overall on offense. What was your perspective there in that Rendo touchdown? It looked like you were kind of escorting him there for the last 30 yards or so in that downfield block. Yeah, um, so I was game for safety, safety. Uh, kind of took himself out of the play, so I turned back on the corner. Um, and I was kind of, I kind of walled him off, and it was tight on the sideline. So I was thinking Isaac might cut back for a little bit, so I was kind of staying square to him, but then eventually I realized he was trying to take it on the sideline, so I just got a last push, and he was able to do a good job keeping his balance and uh, get in the end zone. Those are blocks that you know you love to have as a receiver. And, um, you know, he, he came and uh, said thank you, and you know, he, they you know do so much in the passing game for us, uh, you know, picking up blitzes and stuff like that, that whenever you can do something to put them in the end zone, it's, it feels good. How rewarding was it to see him make a play like that after everything he's been through the last year or so? Man, it's awesome. Uh, Isaac Randall's a uh, great teammate. Uh, he's a perfect example of what a Badger should be. Uh, he works super hard. Um, he's a great locker room guy, so for him to be able to have success, uh, we love to see it, and uh, we're all behind him. This team's 3-1 now since Coach Leonard's over. Uh, do you feel like you guys are doing everything that you can to, to put him in position to, to get the part of the job? Do you feel like you are making the progress that this team hoped to see? Yeah, we knew we had to play better on the stretch. And, uh, our whole team's behind Coach Leonard. Uh, for the, we want him to be the head coach. I think everybody in this locker room uh, wants him to be our guy, and he is our guy. So uh, the better we can perform, the better chance for he has to get that job. And uh, I'd be shocked if he didn't ask him. Jim, could you tell when the ball coming out of Graham's hand, the wind affecting it? Like, at what point could you see like the, the ball isn't what it normally is out of Graham's hand? Uh, I mean, in warm-ups, you knew it was going to be kind of tough with how windy and rainy it is. Um, I mean, that's something that you know <laughs> you necessarily want to see as a receiver, but. <laughs> Uh, at the end of the day, like you got to get the got to get the win, and we did a good job of, uh, you know, making up for the run game, having some big third downs to extend drives, and uh, you know we were able to make the best out of it. Yeah, no, this is probably the worst weather I've had um, played in in my career. So it was uh, even in high school and stuff. So it was definitely um, a lot different. But um, I'm thankful that our old line did such a good job, and our backs did such a good job of um, being able to have a run game, and we were able to do some effective things in offense. Jim, kind of following up on the question about Coach Leonard, what is this? What have you guys learned as players about what you've been through this year, with struggling to start off the season, your head coach being fired, and then having a guy who may not be sure about his future? Yeah, I think it's uh, been a year of growth. Um, you know, we have a lot of young players. Um, you know, being able to grow, or get these experiences, and fight through adversity. Um, you know, that's some. We had some adverse times. We we had some adverse situations, and being able to um, come together and stick together and uh, you know, keep getting better and keep improving. Uh, I think this is a lot about the guys that are in the locker room. What does it do for your offense to have a two-headed rushing attack like you had today with Isaac and Braylon really kind of able to, to go for a tilt there? Yeah, I mean, our running back room is one of the most talented in the country. Obviously, you know, you have Braylon Allen uh, as a headliner, but, you know, Chaz and Isaac and um, Shipper and, 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 you know, Julius and all those guys are also very talented and all right. So, see a guy like Isaac Randall who, um, is a locker room guy and does everything right um, to be able to have the success. And the uh, well, day we really needed him, um, it was huge. Jim, the defense was dominant all day, and then, as you mentioned, they did a stand along with Isaac. Did it feel like this was a return to the program's identity, the way you guys won the game? Um, it definitely felt good. Um, I mean, I think our identity is changing. I think that we're a balanced attack, and um, we want to be a program that can do a lot of things. And obviously, we had to rely on the run game. and. Um, you know, I think that says a lot about the program we want to become. We want to be able to win in a lot of different ways and, and be able to get the job done. So.